Yo, dudes and do that, your friendly neighbor Jax Blade is here, and I got this question on Tumblr a while ago, and I was just reading through it, and I thought, this would actually make a pretty damn good video idea, because it could feel honestly help a lot of people out, because I feel a lot of people just go through this thing, so let me read it to you dudes and do that real quick. Hey Jax, you seem like a really energetic person who makes the best of any boring situation. My question to you is this, besides, you know, <laughs> I know what he means, what are some fun things to do while you are alone? All my friends friends are busy with either their day jobs, college work, date life, or just don't feel like talking, etc. I'm on Discord all day waiting for someone to show up, but they don't. I feel like I'm wasting my life away on video games and YouTube. So any ideas, Black All Might, love your work and your channel. Oh, trust me, man or girl, whoever sent me that message, like, I know that routine, all right? I've been dealing with that crap for a while because sometimes, you know, friends can be flaky, whatever. So I completely have, like, a whole contingency plan of how to, like, have a fun day alone or, like, just minding my own business without going, like, oh, I need someone to talk to. I need someone to validate my existence, you know, stuff like that. Because, you know, it's good to have people to talk to, but it's also good just to, like, not just have a day where you're like, oh, I... I don't know what to do because so-and-so is not here. So I'm going to give you guys some tips because this has happened to me so many times and this is one of the best things you can do. Okay, think of it like this. All right, my philosophy is this. Think of every, practically every cartoon show you've ever seen. I won't say everyone because, like, you know, there's shows like Lucky Star and something else where, I forget where it is, you know, everyone's just vegging out talking about day-to-day -day lives like Seinfeld in animated form. But that's not the point. What I'm saying is there are so many shows out there where they are barely ever inside just vegging out, watching TV, playing video games because that would be boring to watch. Again, unless it's Lucky Star because that's just... It, that doesn't count but like it, it, they are so fun to like watch their adventures and hijinks because like oh we are living vicariously through them okay we are living vicariously through them so this is my advice to you on how to mimic that in a day-to-day -day life by yourself while having fun number one the beginning of the day you work out or do yoga one of those, either of those, like, what you want to do is you want to do something that's going to get you some nice energy in the day. So, like, either lifting weights, doing some calisthenics while watching your favorite TV shows. Like, what you could do, there's a little workout you can do, is, like, watch a TV show and then, like, every two minutes just do as many push-ups as you can. Or during commercial break, do as many, you know, push-ups, sit up squats. Like, that's how Herschel Walker got jacked as hell when he was a kid. So, that is a way to do it. Also, doing yoga, just, it also sets the entire basis of your day. Because when you start the day off and say you know what I'm gonna work out now you've got all these endorphins pumping through all the blood is flowing and you just feel nice and optimistic and it's like wow I just started the day and I feel like I accomplished something so yeah definitely do that start the day off with either yoga or workout and trust me it'll set the day it doesn't have to be anything too intense you could go for a jog or whatever just just work out have a good fun workout Number two, this is where my inner 90s kid comes out because I used to do this all the time when I was a kid before I got chubby. And that's just go exploring by riding your bike or roller skating or riding your skateboard or scootering. Just, you know, the 90s kid is stream stuff, bro. Why do you think I got the cap on, bro? <laughs> Whatever. And the Space Jam with me. <laughs> but no, like seriously, going out by yourself, just exploring a safe area. Safe area, don't go wandering into like Camp Crystal Lake or the woods or something where bears or something live, but like in the safe area and just exploring the area on your bike or something like that and listening to an iPod, like making it seem like, oh yeah, I have my own freaking adventure I can go on. That is the thing, and I'm telling you this right now, activity promotes positivity. Activity promotes positivity, okay? The more active you are, like if you're just like lumped down, like, uh, oh God, I feel, you know, down, I don't want to do anything, I'm just blah 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 then of course you're gonna feel bad for yourself and you're gonna want to you know feel crappy but if you can get out and just move around and like even if you're in a wheelchair just move yourself around just move back and forth wherever you can go or like have someone take you somewhere if you you know can't or something like that then it's just fine having activity like playing fun game like go shoot hoops by yourself go uh play tennis you know like oh sh hit baseball stuff like that you know like stuff stuff is really making me realize how much stuff I did in the 90s as a little kid. But yeah, like, all that stuff, activity promotes positivity, and it'll also just make you feel a lot better. Number three, I know you said you don't waste your entire day playing a video game, or maybe just set up a time to play that video game. Like, think of a game you haven't played in a while. Like, all right, my personal game that I play all the time is Spider-Man for PS1. I play that game once a month to completion. I don't know why. I've been doing that every single day since I was, like, 13 years old because I love that game. It's my favorite video game of all time. I, I just love that game. But I'm saying, just play an old game or a game you haven't played in a while, like Jack and 
Daxter. I played Jack and Daxter all the way through the other day. Uh, I want to say like I want to say two, three weeks ago, and that was just a fun experience. So Kingdom Hearts, like if you're getting tired of just playing Overwatch, the same thing over and over again, then yeah, just try a new, a new old game or a nostalgic game because nostalgic games just make you feel good. Or heck, watch nostalgic TV. All right, you can watch Hey Arnold. You can watch any of those shows. You know that Saber Spark talks about and his you know what ruin series and stuff like that. So by the way, go check out Saber Spark's new video because it was really good. But uh, yeah, there are tons of stuff like that that you can just do in the day. And it's just fun. Number four, treat yourself to some tasty food, honey. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna go online and you're gonna look up a recipe of whatever you want. If you have to go to the store and pick up supplies and that's another adventure for you to go out and do for the day. But I'm saying this, go out, get your stuff, or just get food from the house and then cook. Cook something tasty. Cook some whatever tasty. Like, oh, I want to bake some cakes. Like, I'm a beast of brands. Like, first off, I'm just a beast cook. Like, that's not even cockiness, okay? Like, tons of women have told me that. But it's just a thing where I can go, I love cooking. And cooking is just a fun hobby of mine. And I can make it healthy or I can make it, you know, tasty. And I can make it healthy tasty. Or I can make just, you know, savory if I want a cheat day. So that's what I would suggest to you. Just take some food from, like, any recipe online. You know, go to Gordon Ramsay channel. Look up some recipes, whatever you want to try out. And then do it. Cook it. That's a nice little thing you can do by yourself. It's just another productive thing and you rewarded yourself for, hey, I worked out this morning. So there you go, treat yourself. Number five, make an epic marathon movie TV night, all right, whatever. Like you go on Netflix or you go on whatever site you wanna go on and you watch whatever cartoon you want or whatever show, whatever TV show you love from beginning to end, all right? You get a whole bunch of tasty food with you, you know, get some drinks, get some, uh, pizza, some burger, popcorn, whatever you want to do. Like this is, this, I'm saying this, like this is only a one day a week thing. You don't want to, you know, do this every day because you'll get whatever. But I'm saying do this when you're just, you know, you're feeling really isolated and alone. It's just, it's a nice little thing. It's just like, oh, marathon TV. I'm got all my food with me. I'm enjoying it. I can watch this like a marathon. I'm feeling great. Like I just marathon BoJack Horseman over the last few days because I love BoJack Horseman. It's a great series. You definitely check it out. The fourth season just came out. But yeah, that is a fun thing to do. So there you go. Another thing to have fun by yourself. <laughs> Number six. All right, now this is where I'm going to get really old school on you guys. All right. Make a fourth. Make a fort. I'm not even lying, okay? Like, I don't care if you're 20 or whatever. Like, make a fort. And that will make the whole thing with the Netflix thing I just talked about way better. Because, like, oh, I'm watching all this stuff in my newly built fort. And that thing is just worth it. I don't care if you're 20 years old, okay? Growing up means you know how to act in public. And you're responsible. And you know how to feed yourself, pay your bills, take care of all the stuff that you have to be responsible for. But when you're alone... Who gives a damn? Just be as childish as you want, all right? Just bounce around. Just do what you want to do, all right? That's the point of being an adult and having fun. Like, you have to be responsible in certain areas, but have fun by yourself, okay? And no, it's not no 40-year-old virgin shit. Like, I ain't got no problem with that. Invite a girl over. She'll help you with the fort. And then you go have a fun little place that you know, okay? It's one of those things. But yeah, if you're having a time by yourself, forts. Forts, Netflix, all that every day. I'm telling you. It's great. Seven, draw or paint something. It doesn't have to be no Picasso piece of art or some freaking Yusuke Murata piece of art, but you can just draw and paint something and have a good time. All right, that's what I'm telling you right now. Like, just draw or paint something. It doesn't have to be some masterpiece of art. Just, it's drawing is nice and relieving and you feel good and it's just like, oh yeah, just drawing my favorite character. I'm drawing myself, uh, Jack's Blade, hooking up with Mia because I'm one of his greatest YouTube subscribers and anyone who would do that is one of the best YouTube subscribers who I would totally give a shout out to. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, you know what I'm saying at. But anyway, <laughs> whatever, I'm saying just take some moment and draw something or watch some, um, Bob Ross. Bob Ross had some great videos you can watch and just like mimic him. Like do that. That's another thing right there to keep your mind off of it and have fun. Remember, even Picasso started off crappy. So all you got to do is keep at it and build and build and build. And you can impress people, but most importantly, you'll impress yourself. And number eight. Now this is going to seem boring and whatnot, but it's actually really fun. Read a book. Read a book. I'm not even lying. Like, so many people are like, Ugh, I can't even read these days. Well, screw those people. They don't know what the heck they're talking about. I remember when I was a kid reading Harry Potter and reading The Hobbit. The Hobbit was a book I remember, like, being invested. I would just stay up late reading that book because I hadn't seen the cartoon yet. And so, like, um, I was just imagining what Smog looked like and how he was and trying to get Bilbo. And that was just a fun read. So really take your thing. And I know I'm sounding like a, you know, 90s lie reading Rainbow. You know, do that. It's good for you 
kids or whatever, but I'm telling you, reading a book is actually a fun little thing you can do. Also, it's great for your brain too. It keeps your brain nice and strong as well. So read a book, any book you want to read besides that one. Yeah, you know what I mean. But yeah, have fun. Number nine, go for a walk. Like honestly, just go for a walk. Like walks help with ideas. Like sometimes you just want to be alone with yourself. It's good to be alone with yourself and just realize like, huh, I don't like, am I happy with my life so far? What could I do to be better? What can I do? Like, it's a nice little way of self-reflecting. And then if you want to, you can also listen to an audiobook. But what I like to do is just like literally take a walk by myself. And when you're doing this, you're burning just fat, by the way. Like, that's a nice little bonus of walking. And then you just think. You just think to yourself. You just have a nice little conversation with yourself. And sometimes people realize, okay, I have a, a dark side to me. Some people have a light side to me. Confront it. And then just realize, okay, this is what I could do. This could be better. I don't like that part of me. I'm going to fix it. So th that's what they are really great for. Walking is phenomenal for that. Final thing you can do, the tenth thing, laugh. Just laugh, okay? Like, find something to make you laugh, okay? For me, instantly, I'll get tell you this. I love puns, okay? I'm that friend who, no matter what you say, like, if someone tells me a stupid pun, I will laugh at it. Like, if you're the one who makes puns in the group, I will automatically laugh. I, I don't know what it is. I just love puns. Also, I love, um, <laughs> me and my mother have this thing where we just realize we are horrible people because I love scare pranks. Like, you remember that show Scare Tactics that used to come on in 2002? When people would just get horrified, like, seeing someone physically afraid that they're going to die, I don't know why, that just cracks me up. I I don't, I don't know what it is, but just, I love that so much. It makes me laugh so hard. So just find something to make you laugh, okay? Whatever it may be, you know, go look up YouTube poops, whatever, or go look up, um, um, you know, comedy shows, you know, Dave Chappelle, uh, Key and Peele skit, stuff like that. Just laugh. Laughing is great for your body. Laughing is just one of the best things you can do and it'll make you feel a lot better and you'll feel like less alone when you're just cracking up at this funny ass thing you're watching. So there you go. Well, I hope this video helped give you guys, you know, some little things you could do by yourself besides, you know, going to that certain place. But yeah, that's a great thing you can do. Just like going off, doing these 10 tips, having fun by yourself. Like you're not obligated. Like I never want anyone to feel like you're obligated to be with people to have fun because that's just going to be burnout. Like the only person you can really count on is yourself like that is the truest thing in life like that is the truest thing I've ever learned like the main one you can count on is yourself and yourself is like should be the best friend you have because you know if you're your worst enemy then that's not gonna be good for you in the long run so get to know yourself see what you like see what works for you but that's what I just wanted to say that just wanted to make this video because I thought it'd be great helpful for people out there because I know a lot of people always tell me that I feel so alone but like watching your videos makes me like feel happy and positive and when I see comments like those I'm like oh thanks guys but uh and gals as well so appreciate it and uh you know i hope you have a great day and remember like i always say keep calm booyah on don't forget moment i probably have some new jack snacks i'm working on because i found this really great recipe that i like to share with you guys and it might be you know a wrap or a sandwich or something like that but i also found a new shake too so i don't know yet but anyways keep calm booyah on don't forget moment i have fun get to that fan art if you do i love you forever bye